Hey everybody, it's Bishop Randy Morgan. I'm coming to you again today from the sanctuary of New Covenant Church of Atlanta where the Spirit of God is being poured out upon all people. Today I want to talk to you for just a few minutes about activating prophetic power. Activating prophetic power. Before we get started, let's pray. Father, thank you for everyone listening and everyone watching. And I pray that we activate the prophetic anointing that's resident within each one of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So you should activate the prophetic regularly. Romans 12, 6 says, prophesy according to your faith. Now, faith, as we know, we don't have to have any feelings to activate faith. I want to say that again. As a matter of fact, we don't have to have any feelings to activate faith. As a matter of fact, feelings often go against faith. Uh, the Word of God tells us to bless the Lord uh, in praise and worship, to lift our hands in the sanctuary. Somebody might say to me, well, I don't feel like it. You don't have to feel like it. You do it by faith. Maybe you're having a really bad day and, and the Word of the Lord says, uh, in His presence is the fullness of joy. So we get into his presence because we enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. So we get into his presence by faith. We clap our hands and we go, Lord, I love you. I bless you. And I may not feel it at all. I do it by faith. I do it because the word says it. I believe it and I activate it. It's the same thing with the prophetic. The word of God tells us that God speaks to us, that God wants to speak to us. And the Word of God tells us that we're to prophesy according to the measure of our faith. So each day we need to be hearing from God and we need to be saying what God says. Now, what, what do I base this on? First, God is always speaking and there are many things that God is always saying. God is always speaking. Um, the Word of God Scripture is a prophetic book. When we open it up, God wants to speak to us through it. But God wants to speak to us about our days, about our lives, about our spouses, about our work. Uh, he wants to be detailed. He wants to go into a lot of detail with us about, about His will, His plans, and His purposes. He's always talking. Now, I have found occasionally that God will talk to me about something that has nothing to do with what I ask Him about. Uh, but I write down what He says because He'll give get around to uh, what I need to hear from him as long as I'm honoring what he's telling me when I don't necessarily feel like I need to hear it right then. God knows what he's doing. So I write out, I record, I journal what God is saying to me. God is always talking, whether it's through scripture or whether it's through in direct, directly into our spirit through the Holy Spirit. God always has something to say. I want you to say that with me right now. God always has something to say to me. Today, I had some very specific questions for him. And I went to him and I was about to start writing in my journal what he was saying. But he started talking to me out of Acts chapter 9. It had nothing to do with what I asked him about. But he says, we'll get to that in a little while. But right now, I want to talk to you about these things. So I want to encourage you with that. God will speak to us about everything we need to hear from him as long as we're honoring what he's telling us when he feels like he needs to tell us some things. So God is always speaking. There are thoughts that God always has toward us, and we need to get into that flow and activate it and receive it. Second, so first of all, you, God is always speaking. Second, you can activate the gift of prophecy just like you activate any of the other gifts. Let me explain what I mean. Now, the Bible says, this is part of the explanation, that he gives it to every man or woman uh, liberally as he wills. In a, in a, but the, 1 Corinthians 12 was written in the context of a church service. God always has the gift of prophecy in every believer. He's imputed it into us because we have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is the spirit of prophecy. He's always got something to say, but not necessarily in the context of the church. If every member of every single church prophesied to the church every single week, no one would ever go home. <laughs> we, we need to understand that. First Corinthians 12 was written to a church where almost all the members were hopping up and prophesying. So when he says that he gives to each one liberally, let it be by two or at the most by three. He's not saying that, you know, 
Every single person cannot prophesy. What he is saying is that everyone could, but everyone shouldn't in the context of church in a service when we're all together. That's why 1 Corinthians 12 was written, was to, to give some governance to uh, some church services that were going too long and out of hand and, and people weren't growing in the spirit. So what I'm saying is this, you have the spirit of prophecy in you in the presence of the Holy Spirit. That's who he is. He's the spirit of prophecy. When you're born again, he comes into your life and he's always talking. So you can activate the gift of prophecy in your personal life and even in your ministry the same way you do any other. Let me explain what I mean by that. If somebody's sick, you don't go, well, let's find somebody with the gift of healing. Does anybody have the gift of healing? Hello, anybody got the gift of healing? No, you don't do that. You as a believer have the spirit of healing on the inside of you. So you lay hands on them and anoint them and pray and release the gift of healing by faith. Now, not every person in a church service has time to lay hands on all the sick people to get them healed. The gift of healing can be activated in every believer's life, but in a church service, it's different. So with, with laying hands on the sick, with hearing from God, all of these things, every believer has these manifestations of the Holy Spirit inside of them. We just have to activate them. So today I want to tell you that you have the gift, the manifestation of prophecy inside of you, inside your spirit, in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Now you got to activate it. How do you activate the prophetic flow? I would encourage you to do this. Use what I call a diving board, something to get you into that flow. Go into praise and worship. Turn on some praise and worship music and just praise the Lord. Lift your hands. Begin to give him glory and praise and honor. Take about five minutes or so just to worship the Lord. And the Bible tells us that, you know, in the Old Testament and the New, that when they minister to the Lord, the Holy Spirit said, 1 Corinthians 13, excuse me, Acts 13, 1 through 3 tells us that in several places throughout the word. That when people worship the Lord, the Holy Spirit speaks. So take time. Get you some praise and worship music. YouTube's a perfect place for it. Go into praise and worship for at least five minutes. Then get quiet. And when you do, when the Holy Spirit begins to speak to your spirit, begin to write it out. My diving board is this. The Lord says, Son, comma. That's how I prophesy to myself. I listen to the Holy Spirit and I start off my journal with the Lord says, son, comma, and then I get into the flow. And I give you an example of that. I could speak right now because God is always speaking. He's always speaking prophetically. The Lord says, son, today I am um, giving you deeper revelation, knowledge and understanding of the upbuilding of my people. I'm giving you an understanding to go in and to begin to build. I'm giving you blueprints for building up my people. And the Lord says that if you will, son, Randy, if you will submit to what I'm saying to you and you'll do what I'm telling you to do, as you give this revelation knowledge to my people, they'll begin to be strengthened. The church will begin to grow. People will begin to thrive spiritually. People will begin to awaken with a spirit of prophecy and an anointing on their life. And the mantle of my voice will begin to be released upon them. And they'll begin to prophesy out into the earth to the north, the south, the east, and the west. And as they do, the harvest will come forward. The fields that are dried up will be burned off and way will be made. A, a new way will be made for new crops and new harvests. Son, if you will submit to my word, I say to you today, I will release a whole new season of an army army of prophetic people, says the Lord. Woo. <laughs> I do that quite frequently where I go in and I prophesy to myself and, and, and I, I get into, I activate that flow. Now, everything I just said was completely biblical, totally scriptural. So that's how we weigh out our prophetic utterances. If you'll activate the prophetic in your heart today and you'll prophesy to yourself and you'll begin to prophesy to others, listen to the voice of the Lord, say what he says, it'll begin to stir up some strength inside of you and the strength that's needed inside the body of Christ. Don't neglect the gift that was imparted to you today. 
through the power and presence of the Holy Spirit. Go in, listen to him, begin to activate the prophetic. And as you do, lives will be changed. People's hearts will be changed. And you'll be glad that you stepped over into this prophetic dimension by faith. All right, God bless you. I love you very much. And I'll talk to you next week.